You're listening to Specifically Devoid, a podcast. Specifically Devoid was filmed in front of a live studio audience. And welcome <laughs> to Specifically Devoid, the last one. Uh, a podcast. Holy shit. You're... You... <laughs> Um, your gain is very high. <laughs> like. My throat sucks right now. Oh, yeah. Um, so Derek, this past weekend, because this is going to be released tomorrow this or is next week? Next week, the 19th. Well, this past weekend, um, Double Masters 22 came out. Mm. Uh, what's your favorite card that was reprinted or, yeah, I'm pretty sure every card was reprinted. Oh my gosh, hold on. So... Because I know we talked about this also last time you asked me what card I was the most excited for. And mm-hmm. I gave you an answer, and then we had to restart, and then I gave you a different answer. So I need to come up with a third answer to give you for my favorite card in the set. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to have to go with Panharmonicon, because that card is a classic and needed to get reprinted. And the full art is very cool. I'm going to say Sensei's Divining Top. Is that Double Masters? Yeah. It's oh. like it's like a nice foil full art too. Dang. Put it up right now. I I don't know if I could promise you that. Oh my god. I don't know if I can promise liter- I don't know why not. It's just a PNG. <laughs> Me in the future can't promise you anything. Here's another PNG. Look at that. You can little do do a little animation where it comes from my hand. It's great. Oh my, you are asking far too much of me. You... I'll edit this video if you really can't fucking do that. <laughs> I, I, I'll do what I can. <laughs> so, uh... What? I was bombarded with this arena. Bombarded? <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. I, we... Yeah, uh, full disclosure, I had no idea this was happening. I thought we were just talking. Well... Full disclosure, I didn't know that you thought we were just talking because the last time we talked about what we were going to do for a Magic episode, well, you said you'd talk about your experience, but I also figured you meant while we played Magic because uh, we need to talk more while we play the game. Yes. So I figured the plan was we talk while we play. Mm. Okay. And uh, that's... That's a oh friggin' K with me. Wonderful. Shall I remind the audience of the stakes in this match? Yeah. Remind the audience of the damn stakes. So the challenge was sent out by me last time we played Magic. We will each bring in our five color historic brawl decks. And the winner is the Devoid Champion. There's the regular Devoid Champion, not the Devoid Entertainment Champion. The regular thing. And I Micah forced me to tell him that I will ship this to his house in oh. the mail if he wins. Which mm-hmm. he won't. So Micah, who are you playing today? I or am wh- playing... What are you playing um, today, rather? Well, technically speaking, I'm playing a Seeker God of the Tree, but I'm truly playing the Prismatic Bridge. And which I... you remember from before. And I am playing uh, Cody Vociferous Codex. Nice. Uh, the great thing about Cody is that you don't need any colored mana to cast the thing. Actually, you don't need to have the full five color mana to use Cody, which is very helpful for someone who doesn't have enough money to spend on Arena to have cool decks. and cool If you spend decks. money on Arena... You better be making money on Arena. Oh. <laughs> we we both don't know that neither of those things are possible. Yes, there is. You can make money on Arena. I mean, I guess. To qualify for Pro Tour. I, oh, I don't think they call it Pro Tour anymore. Yeah, they don't. No hits with the rest, huh? No, that was, that was tragic. And I have to say, honestly, like, once they stopped calling it Pro Tour is when I stopped caring about competitive magic. Like, oh. the... Like, there was a, a very specific point 
that may or may not have coincided with me going to college, but also coincided with a change in how they were doing set structure that made me not care about anything that wasn't my own commander decks. Right. Uh, so anyway, you were saying you, uh, how was your I weekend? Didn't, I wasn't saying at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking from before, but did you do anything cool this weekend, Micah? This past weekend, the second weekend in July, 2000, and oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh. Anyway, you were saying? <laughs> yeah, I went to SCG Syracuse, which is Star City Games. It's basically a pro tour. You attacked with Cody? What? Who are oh, yeah. you? Yeah, you don't have any creatures to block. I know, but you like You always, always get in that little bit of damage when you can. When it counts. That's... Okay. Yeah, so so I went with my friend Alex, which if I'm... The only way that he's watching this is if I'm forcing him to watch this in either a car or in his apartment. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> Hi, Alex. I'm sorry what Micah's currently doing to you. And I don't mean the, the torture and whatever he's getting to get to this point. I just mean the podcast. Oh, I thought you just meant <laughs> being, being friends with Micah. <laughs> no, I, in, I mean in general. solely the podcast. I'm sorry you have to experience this. Y yeah, I'm not. That's fair. Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Already? Ugh. Already? It's like turn 10. It is like turn. It is not turn ten. It One, is, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's at least turn six. God, have I really just had three mana this whole time? Because you, because you, uh, Stinkers. you did the thing. Because you assassins just... trophied my thing, so I got another thing. So and that's six lands. Oh yeah, and I went first. So it's at least turn six. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't like that foreign clux being out, so I'm just gonna not let it be out. I mean, that's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, not the dungeon. Shit. Is that... What are your thoughts on the dungeon mechanic? Stupid, it's never got... It didn't get any better. I really <laughs> think that that was a mechanic they put in Paper Magic that was solely meant for Magic Arena. <laughs> yeah, it's not real. It's not... It's almost impossible to keep track of. It's like, it's dumb. It's so, like, there's a thing, there's a legacy thing where it actually uses the dungeon, and it's very relevant. Is it really? Not really relevant, but, like, you just, you drown, you're, you drain your opponent. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. Well, you can't cast spells. What do you mean? Well, that's, I, I'm sorry, you can't cast permanents. I, you're right. I can't cast permanent. So what the fuck is in your hand? Well, I'll tell you what's in my hand. Is a D spark? And then it goes into an Inquisition. Of Kozilek? Yeah. It's a great card. The very, you can take the very same. <laughs> I don't like that art. Which art? The art on uh currently. Oh, yeah. On the Strixhaven foil ash. I, some of, here's the thing about those, is that some of them seem really cool, but also a lot of them seem like the cheap Kaladesh masterpieces in their art style. Like, if they try to do the Kaladesh masterpieces, but, like, the budget version. And they are not all great. Mm. And, I, and I also think they stick out too much. To have Derek, like, this have championship is is two out of three, right? I'm not just gonna beat you next turn and then I'm the champion. Yeah, no, it'll be it'll be yeah, no worries on that front. I was about to say like because I haven't even talked about Syracuse because you're also not gonna win. So on my turn, unless you have like what don't I like? What what's going on here that I don't like? Then no. I'm gonna win next turn. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Is this OG Goldspan Dragon and not Arena 
transformed gold span. Yeah, that that is that is not alchemy. That is original Kaladesh. That is OG gold span dragon, and not the alchemy bullshit that Wizards tries to push on you. You are correct. Alchemy is like a little bullshit, honestly. Especially yeah, since. Can... It doesn't mean anything, because they're just going to ban cards in the format anyways. Yeah, this really didn't go well for me, huh? I really issued a challenge that I was very unlikely to win. It's not like I spend money on Arena. It's just that, like... It's just that I literally built this deck because I pulled Cody in a pack, and I was like, oh, I want to build something around this. Do I have to use my five color deck for the for the second one? I will say we can both switch out of our five color deck for the next Thank game. You. I won, and I was just like, I should not have won that. So while we're in the interim of Derek choosing the deck that he's going to lose game two with, so SCG Syracuse. So, um, that it's like a you know it's like a an event. Apparently, it's very little. I was. It was not little. There was a ton of people there. Mm-hmm. You know what I, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Um, and I got a bunch of cards. Um, Friday night. Okay, so I'll just I'll start Friday. Okay. Um, I drove there with my friend Alex. Who right. again? Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. I'm still sorry if you're still watching. <laughs> um, I. So we get there for two o'clock. Mm-hmm. He plays modern. I'm waiting till three o'clock for the legacy challenge. Um, different formats. Right. That happens. Um, so of my first event, I went two and one. But that is because that I got a buy my first game. I got absolutely obliterated by <laughs> goblins in the second in the second match. In the third match, I had an opponent no show. Oh. So I was two and one. Nice. Match one of the second legacy event. My opponent didn't show for that first match either. Nice, nice. And then I got absolutely crushed in two, <laughs> in two subsequent matches. So I was three. I was, uh, you know, I was, no, hold on. That's not. That, on. that would put you at three and three. Yeah. I drew one of them in the second, in the second one. I drew, so I went one, one, and one in the second event. Nice, nice. So I was up three, two, one, after not winning a single actual game. That's... It's still on the loading screen for me. I'm gonna hit cancel. I, I no, I haven't. I haven't selected yet. I was just letting you talk. Okay. Good. I haven't pressed play yet. Um. That all happens. Yeah. My friend group is leaving, and they say. Mikey, you're drafting. You have to get master double masters twenty two packs. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck, that's forty five dollars. Right. Whatever. I did it. I draft. That was really fun. What I get, that was good. Force of negation. Nice, nice. That was the. That's card about you, that's. That that's was about the card the you were most excited about when we talked last time. Yeah. Uh, Somebody in one pack got uh, an Imperial Seal and the Borderless Smothering Tide. <laughs> oh, shit. So I was a little upset. <laughs> how much How much is that going for? Because it has to be like a stupid amount, right? The Imperial Seal is a stupid amount. Oh, I was, Imper- ta- I was talking about the, the full art Smothering Tide. Oh, it's at least, it's well over 60. Yeah, that, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You have a a seven mana commander and my commander is already out how yeah. does it feel to suck at magic um i then went they my friend group got pizza for dinner from um nice. they, we attempted to get from like three different places because we got back to the hotel late right. and places were starting to close okay um so we ended up getting i believe papa john's oh just a class did you eat 40 pizzas uh no, I am not the owner, the former CEO and owner and founder of Papa John, John, whatever his fucking you, name is. You are not the God Papa John. Yeah, I am not God himself, Papa <laughs> John. 
It's just it's just the Godfather poster, but Papa John's on it instead of whoever's on the Godfather poster. <laughs> Very funny. It's like that's definitely like uh, Marlon Brando. Oh yeah. Um, Derek has never seen The Godfather. You um, you would be very correct in that. I know. I know. <laughs> if I'm thinking of a movie that like people are just like, oh, that, like was one of the best movies of all time. Derek has heard of it. He has never seen it. I think you could you can short that to if you ever think of a movie, Derek has heard of it but never seen it. Have you really never seen? Um, I don't want to like out you. No, you can. Um, I I am. You've never for... seen The Wizard of Oz? No, I've seen The Wizard of Oz. I was actually I was in a production of The Wizard of Oz in high school because I'm really I, because that's... I'm really cool. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm like very cool. What if I told you I didn't know that? Because it's not true. Oh shit, dude! Nice, nice sorcery enchantment. Thanks. Do you like the card I pulled off of it? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I was. I was in a high school production. Not a high school. I was in a youth theater production of The Wizard of Oz. I played the character of Uncle Henry slash Emerald City Guard. Because it was one of those uh, characters that's one person in Kansas and then a different person on Oz. Uh, and I, I got preset in the, in the middle of intermission. I had to get preset inside of a set piece for intermission. Fuck off, man. Like, <laughs> Hey, if you're going to make tokens, you're damn right. I'm going to fucking try. <laughs> I need to kill that thing quick before you, before you start making copies. I don't have any kill spells though. Pass. Yeah. In green, white, make a kill spell. I mean like any white exile target thing spell. We'll do the trick. Um, Friday night after that, we went to the casino near our hotel. Nice. I borrowed three hundred dollars from my friend Kevin, because I, I, we played blackjack. It was very down. Right. I won it back and then made four hundred dollars on top of that, so I was plus four hundred. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, as a poor person, that made me feel real good. Yeah. You spent it like immediately right afterwards. And what did you spend it on? For uh, I spent it on Helm of Obedience, a playset of Helm of Obedience, mm -hmm. and a playset of Urza Saga. So, so to make sure I have it right, um, you won four hundred dollars at the casino, and then spent it on eight magic cards. All right, well, that wasn't four hundred dollars. That was only that was less than that. Okay. Still very funny, using a just because of the state of magic economy in general, winning at a casino and then using your winnings to buy eight magic cards. I'm just gonna have to contend. To contend <laughs> with like your ability to make stuff. Like yeah, you're damn right. I'm gonna have to contend. Oh yeah. Um. So do you want to hear other great cards that I that I got? from prize support and other stuff tell me i wrote what... down the, i doubt i wrote down the list because it truly is just like Derek's just like mike what the actual fuck tell me what you got all right i got an italian legends mana drain okay jesus christ okay stifle stifle all right class mental misstep Holy shit. All right. Yeah. That's also a very force good Force negation that I pulled. Yep. Yep. Knew about, knew about that one. Heavily played, like, heavily played in the best sense of the word uh, of heavily and played uh, Portuguese force of will. Ooh, nice. I would say heavily loved as opposed to heavily played. <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay. Um... Enlightened Tutor. Mm -hmm. Goblin Artifactor. Mm. Final Fortune. Mm. Spell Pierce. Okay, that one's not much though, right? That one's like that. That one I got from I. I I'll say whatever. I'll say it afterwards. Okay. Knowledge Pool. Oh, gotta love me some Knowledge Pool. That card is underrated as fuck. 
Yeah, that card is less than two dollars and is a win con in Lavinia stacks. <laughs> That's that one that basically forces everyone to cast other people's stuff, right? Am I thinking of the right card? Yeah. It's like a six mana artifact. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That imprint something. Yeah. Um, Windfall. Classic. A classic. Arcane Laboratory. Okay. Trinisphere. Nice. And da 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 da. My first dual land, a Savannah. Oh, Savannah! Bear, 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 bear. Judging from those cards, I'd say you play Commander. <laughs> no, uh, I play CDH. <laughs> oh, right. Different thing. Sorry. I mean, like, it kind of is. I mean, CDH is really just Commander, but people are more serious about it. Yes. Hey, I don't like that. Can you not? I get you saw it coming, but... Yeah. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because that is the name of the card that he cast. That's fine. You're gonna gain so much fucking life, huh? Not only that, but every time I activate uh, Riss's second ability to double my creatures, I'm basically doubling how much mana uh, Itlamok makes me. So I'm also ramping. And no matter how fast you can make those Lil Scoot Swarm tokens, I'm fast. To, to quote Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm faster. Volo is like, Volo's a great card. I would like to make a actual in-person Volo commander deck. I think that'd oh, be... it's a real card? It is a real card. It'd be very fun to play. Actually, I think... Uh... That may just be game, actually. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta sit through this. Because, Linden. So, yeah, how about how about that, uh... How about this wrist deck, huh? And they all have Vigilance now. Okay. Okay, sorry, but I need to bring my computer close to my face because I gotta do some... This is, we have now reached, camera-wise, uh, Micah, if he was 45 years old and taking a Facebook profile picture. Alright, game. Is this enough? Or is this enough to end the game? Yes. Nice. Good game. Good game, too. Now we have to move on to game yeah. three. Legally. We're obliged. <sighs> Wait, can I leave now? There we go. Micah, I'm I want I want to give you a TV show recommendation. Okay. Because in the past, when Joel has suggested I watch this show, I had said, and I quote, I am never watching that show. That show looks stupid. I'm not going to watch it. If it's it. this pirate thing, Derek. It's not. It's not. It's not. Because I always thought that show was cool. And it is. For each five times I've watched it. No. I started watching Glee. Uh, in the past week or so. And Glee is a very interesting show. You have to get past the like honestly cancelable first season of glee like twitter cancelable first season of glee and then it becomes a better show because they're just less mean to like Artie is a character that's in a wheelchair and they are very mean about it in the first season and then they're not mean at all about it the rest of the time are you playing the same exact deck no no? Alright, I'll play a different deck too then. I'll play this deck. I haven't gotten um, this in a while. Derek, what if I told you that I've seen Glee all the way through twice? You've seen Glee all the way through twice? Yes. I just started. I'm on like the third episode of season three now. Season two is actually one of my favorite seasons of television. It's like, like season two of Glee, is, I would agree with that. Like, season two of Glee is really good. <laughs> it's really concise. The, there's one issue, there's one, like, glaring issue in season two that just makes absolutely no sense. What, uh, 
Spoiler alert, what issue are you talking about? Um, Kurt switching schools twice within the same school year. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay, there's a lot in Glee that doesn't make a lick of sense. Like, do they go to class? If so, when? <laughs> and also, yes, they have Spanish class with a Will Schuster. <laughs> That's right. And then they also have whatever class Holly Holiday is subbing in. And they have football. And what? Is Sue only hired to the school to be the cheerleading coach? Is she, she not... makes so much money. Is she not also a teacher? <laughs> I think she's part of, like, the athletic department, so, like, she could teach physical ed, like, like phys ed. Well, I mean, there was that small point where she was the principal, and honestly, better than Figgins at it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Glee has a weird knack for being so stupid and then delivering the most heartbreaking episodes of television you've ever watched. I disagree. <laughs> you disagree? I just think it's stupid. You just think it's stupid? You don't think, uh, you don't think the character, certain, uh, episodes are super heartbreaking? Because there's a um, few, like, they, they are good at the sad episodes, I think. I kind of want to make a spoiler. It, it, it's so far in the future that you won't, and it doesn't, it also doesn't matter, but I really want to say something right now that just disregards what that says. Okay. Can I, can I, make, it's, I, it, I will not say what happens in the episode. You're just going to say can I, what episode it is that is. Yes. I'm just going to say like what happens in, I'm just going to say, I'm going to say a super general thing. And then you're just going to, you're just going to be like, holy shit. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what season it's in either. Okay. Does that sound fair? Sure. Wait until the school shooting episode. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. They're not good at it. Gotcha. Because I thought, like, like the episode with Kurt's dad getting a heart attack, that was a very good sad episode of television. The episode where Sue's sister dies is the most heartbreaking episode of television. Oh, I yeah, yeah, that's really sad. I guess, I guess... Season two is when they find out that the, the guy who plays Kurt is actually a good singer. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like kind of like towards the end of season one, they they just kind of like are just like fuck. We need to put Kurt in more shit. Something that they, something that happens, just kind of happens. Right. No, but honestly, because like I love kind of bad TV that's chock full of drama, and that is exactly what Glee is. It's kind of bad TV that's chock full of drama, and I live for it. And I stand. And you, hi, Stan. I'm Derek. Nice to meet you. Who is your favorite character in Glee? Someone that's only in the first two seasons. Is it? Um, wait, wait. Can I can I guess who it is? Just based off of you saying that. It's one of two people. I, 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 it's a tie for two people. Okay. From what you said just there, you said it's someone from only the first two seasons. Well, because you haven't seen anything. Like, what about, oh, why right. Why you just say, like, a character from, like, you know, that, season, like, I thought, four? I, I thought you were saying, like, this is a character who only appears in season one and two. And I was going to be like, oh, the old, the old Glee teacher who became a drug dealer. Does he show up later? He Okay. He showed up. This is not a spoiler. I'm not trying to spoil Glee for you at all. But the second to last episode of Glee is also the first episode of Glee. Gotcha. I'm imagining it's like the same as the first episode, but an entirely new cast. No, 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 no. It's literally like events that happen. It's literally what happens off screen in the in the first episode. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. So, like, you see the first episode, like, you see, like, uh, you, it's just, like, off-screen stuff that is just kind of said. 
Right. Okay. It's called like 2009. That's kind of cool. Um, that's kind of. Kind of being the key word. Because I know that like season two would, from what I've heard, season two and three is like the sweet spot. And then it just goes down from there. There's parts of season two that are bad. There's parts of season four that are really good. And then season four continues to happen. <laughs> well, thankfully I'm not there yet, so. Yeah, I have a lot. Glee is not a good show, but I kind of hate watching a lot of shows. Glee, see, I, I for me, a show doesn't have to be good for me to like it. Yes. Oh, remember when you made me watch that thing? That terrible TV show of just like, uh, one of these, per- this, is, this is a bad person, and this is a good person, and they have to find out which one is like a nice boy and which one's a child. <laughs> you mean F-Boy Island? Yeah. Oh my fucking god, F-Boy Island with Nikki Glazer. <laughs> uh. Are you going to take the six or are you going to take two? I'm going to take the six because wow. because I feel like it I don't want my commander to die but also I can finally use my commander for something good actually no I can't but I'm gonna seal away your foreign clicks it's too late in the game for me life wise to care about keeping meteor swarm meteor swarm yeah in my hand I can't fight this feeling anymore. I can't sing. I see. Here's a problem with me watching Glee, is all of the songs I want to sing that are in my head now while playing this. If I include them in the episode, we're getting taken off of YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, this episode might get dropped just because we're talking about Glee. <laughs> they're playing magic. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> NBC Universal's already waiting at the ban button for this episode to drop. Yeah. Was that an NBC show or was that an ABC show? Fox. Glee was Fox? Gross. Yeah. Fox is gross. Brooklyn Nine Nine got better when it got off of Fox and went to NBC. Is that true? Brooklyn Nine Nine? Yeah, it's a, uh, it is a show in the same vein as, like, The Office and Parks and Rec, but Andy Samberg is a cop. Which is, Andy Samberg's a cop. Which is true in real life. Andy Samberg's a cop. Andy Samberg is a cop. (laughs) You heard it here first. Yeah. So did Andy Samberg. Andy Samberg, uh, here's the story about Andy Samberg, is that he's an undercover police officer who was hired by Lord Michaels to try to figure out the drug problem at SNL. And guess what? He didn't do well. <laughs> he did not do good at all. And now Andy Samberg makes Corona commercials with Snoop Dogg, so everything's about right. He used to make bad movies with Adam Sandler. Now he makes bad commercials with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> like, legitimately, like, no shade towards the person, because I'm sure he works very hard at what he does. Brooklyn nine is the only thing of his that I actually enjoy watching. You mean you don't like Hotel Transylvania? No, I don't. I'll be perfectly honest on that. I don't really like that movie all that much. What about Hotel Transylvania 2? No, because every single one beyond that expands on the problem in the first one, which is it was kind of just a way they okay. could make... It's kind of just a way they can make an Adam Sandler animated movie and thus make money off of advertising an Adam Sandler animated movie. Like, it, it was one and done. Adam Sandler already did it perfectly. Eight Crazy Nights is the perfect animated Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> They a movie I've never fucking seen. Really? Yeah. That's fair. It is like, it is the perfect Adam I win. Sandler. I win, you block. And now you're going to deal no damage to me. 
So, who's the better Magic player now? Me. <laughs> See, but have you thought about letting me be the, the better one? I have. You, you know, if you press the concede button, I get to keep the belt. And you, yeah. don't have, you don't have to, like, wait in the mail for anything. No. You don't, because I know you're, you're going to sit by the window like someone waiting for their soldier husband to come home from the war. Waiting for my... It's... When I think Micah Pellegrini, <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> what do you think waiting for your husband to come home from the war? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> It'll save you the worry about getting a, a package that's honestly, like, this sized from coming. You're going to make me put this in, like, a manila envelope. <laughs> and I'm going to have to explain this to, your to, dad. To, to the U.S. United States Postal Service. No, you don't. You don't, when, you don't have to fucking tell them this thing. When, when they say... When I say, hi, I need this to go out, and uh, it's a little too big to just slot in the mail, they're going to say, oh, okay, what are you shipping out? And I'm going to have to explain to them, to them that, that, a, that I do a podcast. I want to explain to them that this is a cardboard <laughs> championship belt for my podcast from losing two games of Magic the Gathering Arena. I mean, they're not, they're not board, they're not like customs. You don't have to like give them all that information. Yeah, but if they ask, just like not even as a, like, what are you shipping? But if they're like, hey, what you sending out? Then I'm going to have to explain it because morally I feel weird if I just lie to them. I can't lie. You're not lying. <laughs> You're not even withholding information. It's just none of their fucking business. <laughs> but, but they ask so mm. nicely. <laughs> Well, this is the second championship you've taken away from me. <laughs> is there no way I can get you to come to, to Vermont to watch another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race to accept was this? just talking about that yesterday. <laughs> Win and say it for a third time. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Are you still watching? It's the end of the episode. You must be a fan at this point. <laughs> yeah, you must actually care about me as a person, Alex. There, I said it. You must value my patience. Um, <laughs> well, my summer fest is going terribly. <laughs> Not terribly. My summer. How's your summer fest? Let us know. That's still a different show. <laughs> my summer fest is very uh, interesting at this point because I interviewed Griff Garrison. And then lost my Devoid Championship. Get ready for next week when you're going to lose every argument, too. Ooh, hey. What could that be? Hey, I I mean, it's the Devoid Mid-Year Awards. It's in the post that we posted on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you can, but you can find PNG here. Yeah. That's not happening. All right. Um, This is our last Magic episode for a little bit. Yeah. We're going to take our small break. So we need to get this outro perfect. Oh, um, all of us here, I specifically the boy. I've been me. Derek's wearing a tank top. So unfortunately, he's him. Velvet. Uh,. We'll see you next time. Bye. I love you.